Attaining knowledge of the holy guardian angel is the next step in humanity's evolutionary journey. So uh, tell me about the holy guardian angel and more so, uh, can you show me right now the holy guardian angel? Can you show it to me in my own experience? Can you point it out? Absolutely. Uh, what I, I think also first, just to give you an idea of what that name, everything in magic is written in a kind of code. Keep in mind that magicians up until very, very recently in time have not written for lay people. You know, this stuff was not just meant for everyone. Magicians have traditionally written for other magicians. And this carries back all the way into things like the Bible. You know, the, the Bible, for example, is a book about kings, by kings, for kings. It is written in a kind of code where if you don't have the key, you're not going to be able to comprehend what you're reading, which is where you fall into things like people like literally believing that a talking snake led to, you know, the chaos that we see in the world around us. Um, you have to have the key to be able to decipher these things. The same, and that applies also to the traditional teachings of magic, like with the HGA. The HGA is a metaphor for the egregore that lies behind all of Western civilization and culture. It is essentially what we would call the God of the Abrahamic religions, Islam, Christianity, and Judaism. It is the intelligence that is above even the angels. When you establish contact with it, what happens is that you are then able to see these teachings in an entirely different way. It's like in the Bible where, where Paul is talking about how suddenly, uh, on the road, the scales fall from his eyes and he could see for the first time. That's what happens whenever you attain the knowledge and conversation of the HGA. You are finally able to understand this truth that lies behind not only uh, the metaphors of religion, but also the, the teachings of magic. You An egregore, I used a word, you don't hear this a lot in the, in the English language, but what an egregore is, in magic, sometimes we say that if you create a, a packet of energy that you have programmed to accomplish a specific thing, like say manifest something, it's called, in magic, we call it a thought form. A thought form is this energetic entity created by one person. An egregore, on the other hand, is a uh, packet of energy that will behave intelligently that is created by the belief, uh, faith, and energy of two or more people. Like when Jesus says, where two or more are gathered, I'll be in their midst. So the egregore of the, the God of the Abrahamic religions is this intelligence that is invested with the faith and belief of untold millions of people dating back to the dawn of human civilization in Mesopotamia. Whenever you establish an energetic link with this intelligence, you will be flooded with images, information, uh, things that you would have no way of knowing on your own. And that's what they're talking about whenever they say attaining the knowledge and conversation of the HGA. You are seeing what God sees. You are experiencing history, uh, religion, art, all of these things from the perspective of that infinite consciousness. Okay, so so Damien, was there an you know, I, I hope this is an okay question, but was there a moment where you were like, oh, now I know what it means to attain knowledge of the HGA. It's on, it's happening. This is the moment. Was there a moment like that? Yes, uh, th there was. And it, it began, uh, you know, I got to a point where after I could do magic again and started really dedicating myself to it, I would do it for hours and hours a day. I got to the point where I would only sleep for four hours a day. I would go to sleep at 10 o'clock at night and I would get right back up at two o'clock in the morning and start doing these invocations again for hours and hours at a time. One morning at about 2.30 in the morning, I'm standing in my living room uh, and I'm going through this invocation process for I don't know how many times it was by this point, And I experienced what was what we call in magic, the dissolution of the self, where what you your individual individual individuality, what you have always perceived yourself to be suddenly disintegrates like a handful of dust thrown into the wind. 
this is the very first step on on the process to attaining the knowledge and conversation of the HGA. Whenever I experienced that, I literally thought I was dying. I, I thought my life was over. I thought you cannot disintegrate. You cannot dissipate. You cannot cease to exist and continue living in this world. And it sounds like a scary thing, but to be honest, it was almost it was a absolutely beautiful thing. I used to, whenever it started to happen, I would walk down the streets of New York and look at all the buildings and I would just be overwhelmed with this profound sense of gratitude, almost like I was saying goodbye to the world around me. And I would just look at the buildings and the architecture and the people who were passing me. And I would just think, I wouldn't think I'm sad that I'm leaving. I would just think I am so grateful that I got to come here and see all of this, experience all of this, because this world, you know, we, we tend in modern times to fall into this kind of uh, pessimistic thinking about the world is so bad and the world is so dark and all of this in a split second. It didn't seem bad. It didn't seem dark. It didn't seem negative. Everything was just absolutely beautiful in a way that I had never been able to see before. Now, you know, it's interesting that you talked about this phrase, knowledge and conversation of the HGA, mm -hmm. the conversation part, as if it, there's some kind of active, ongoing exchange, a, yes. a speaking and, and a listening. Yes. I just think that's really interesting. I don't know if you have more yes. to say about that. There absolutely is. You know, like I said, some of the stuff I had no means of knowing on my own. And even once I knew it, I couldn't comprehend it because, you know, I had a ninth grade education, uh, no, you know, no foundation in, in higher math or, or science or any of these sort of things. So I saw a lot of things. I was shown a lot of things, given a lot of things uh, that I had to to learn. You know, it, it forced me to learn not only an entire new vocabulary, uh, but a new skill set. It, it changed who I was and, and how I lived my life and how I saw the world uh, on a on, on, on like the deepest foundational levels of being. And it wasn't it's not like it just happens like a one time thing. Whenever I did attain knowledge and conversation whenever I did establish that energetic link it um I'm trying to think of a way to articulate it it it, it uh it was non-stop you know it was over like whenever you invoke an angel the way I talked about it in the beginning when I perceived that very first one and how over overwhelming it was to the point that it, it was scary this was like that multiplied by a thousand, just the overwhelming power of it. You, whenever you come in contact with this thing, you will feel yourself so swept up in devotion and love that, I mean, I, I, I can't even begin to, to describe just just the depth and and the massive impact that this has on your life and it will it for me it continued in an overwhelming way like that for probably i would say a solid year probably a straight year i was receiving a constant non-stop download of information hmm 